First he was a saint. Afterwards he was an alcoholic, a drunker, a woman chaser, a very handsome man, charming man. And I don't think so I could resist him if he would make advances to me. But, uh, but he saved us. In first place, he was our savior. He was raised a strict Catholic, although they were Jews in his class at school, and his next-door neighbor was a Jewish rabbi. Was... Why? Er liebte die Frauen, er liebte die Gesellschaft, er liebte, was soll ich sagen? Machen wir das, dass die anderen die Arbeit getan haben? Haben sie ja gut getan, wenn die anderen gearbeitet haben, nicht gemacht? Where is the 50th? And we... I thought we don't know. We really didn't know. We couldn't say that we saw him escape. So he took every second one. 25 or 24. One to the right of my hand and one to the left. We're shooting them on the spot. He said, that's what's happening if any one of you ever escape. And we make ourselves almost like a promise that we are responsible for our friends. How can we save one life and put in jeopardize 25 or even maybe more? <laughs> Ten dostaje to Lenę na listę. Oczywiście grali, grali, grali i Schindler wygrał. 14 tysięcy złotych. To była suma wtedy. Co on mówi do niego? No więc, co gdzieś się odzywa? Ja jej nie tam, co mówi, słuchaj. Graliśmy, bądź fair. Julius Madrich. Another slave labor factory owner in Flushhoff, who wanted to get some of his prisoners to Brindlitz with Schindler, who agreed to take 60 workers. A small-time salesman during the 30s, he then became a Nazi spy. <laughs> he was a flamboyant bon vivo, a black marketeer and a gambler, a drinker and womanizer. To the Germans, he was a loyal agent for military intelligence. He was also Oskar Schindler, the man who stole Jews from the Nazis.